So today I put every Tom Brady Super Bowl winning team in a tournament to see which team is the best. As you know, he has seven Super Bowl wins, so there are seven different teams in this tournament. One team will get a first round bye, we'll get to that eventually. But I gotta shout out these two amazing websites that helped me build these rosters, because as we know, Madden does not have classic teams just yet. I don't know if they ever will again. But yeah, maddenratings.weebly.com. Huge shout out to them. They have every single rating dating back to the early 2000s. And then Pro Football Reference. They helped me with the roster creation and seeing who the starters were and things like that. So um, yeah, shout out to those two websites. Now we're only using the ratings from that season in Madden. So for instance, someone like Stephon Gilmore was in the 99 club in like Madden 21, I believe. But he won the Super Bowl with New England in the 2018 season and in Madden 19 when he was only in 87. So that's what his rating is going to be when we get to that team. And also we're only using ratings from the start of the Madden season. So someone like Tristan Wirfs. I think in his rookie year, he went up like a ton of overalls, but he only started at a 71. And don't worry, it's going to be like that for every single team. And it's not just the Buccaneers, you know, so every team's on the same playing field. All of them will have their ratings from the beginning of that Madden season. You also have to know that face scans, age and experience, they're not going to be accurate. And there might be a few other inaccuracies, you know, with numbers and things of that nature. I try to make it as accurate as possible. I'm a one man crew, okay? I had to build these teams from scratch. And uh, yeah, so just cut me some slack. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could like the video. This took a very long time to put together, but I think it's gonna be a fun tournament to see which Brady team is the best out of all of them. Also, every single team in this tournament besides the Buccaneers, we'll have the New England playbooks because all of them were on the Patriots. And obviously you guys know there's only one New England. So yeah, we had to put some of these Patriots teams on other teams, but don't worry, during the games, I will make sure that you know which team is which. I'll have 01 Patriots or 04 Patriots. You'll be able to follow along. But speaking of the 01 Patriots, that's where we're gonna start. They are the first Patriots team that won a Super Bowl with Tom Brady. So that's where we begin they are the actual Patriots because you know they're the OGs of the dynasty now Tom Brady's gonna start on all of these teams no matter what because he was the starter on all these teams in the Super Bowl when it really mattered behind Brady was Bledsoe who started in 87 but yeah Brady was a 53 at the start of this Madden so they're pretty handicapped this is probably the biggest underdog in this entire video Kevin Falk Terry Glenn Troy Brown Rod Rutledge I, I might pronounce some of these names wrong my apologies in advance Damian Woody at center 74 overall by far the lowest overall in this entire video now they do have Lawyer Malloy phenomenal strong safety Ted Johnson Teddy Bruschi the front seven on all of these teams is just absolutely incredible most notably the linebacker cores are insane you have willie mcginnis richard seymour on the d-line ty law at cb number one one of the best cornerbacks of his era you also have adam vinatieri of course and lee johnson so yeah that's the first team the 01 patriots on the actual patriots the 2003 patriots season the second Super Bowl of the Brady Dynasty in New England. He was a 90 overall, 91 with the morale boost. And this is the Madden 04 New England Patriots at the start of the Madden season. We have them on the Kansas City Chiefs during the games. I will make sure you know it's the 03 Patriots. Yeah, Brady, Smith at running back, Troy Brown again, David Patton, Deion Branch, Bethel Johnson, O-line, much improved in this Madden. Now, you got to remember the older Maddens, they were a little bit more stingy. So Madden 02, you, a lot of the ratings were a little bit lower, but they started being more lenient. Now you're up to an 85 overall. On defense, you have Rodney Harrison this time. You have Richard Seymour up to a 93. You have Brewski, Ted Johnson, Pfeiffer, Roosevelt, Coven, Mike Vrabel, Ty Law again, Asante, I think was a rookie in this one so yeah this is when the defense is starting getting nasty i don't know if this is the nastiest defense vinatieri was a 99 ken walter a punter so yeah teams are starting to get better 85 overall patriots they have as good of a chance as any other team in this tournament on to the 2004 patriots the second of the back-to-back -back during that patriots era the third overall super bowl win by tom brady he was a 95 in this his highest overall so far and this is the madden 05 patriots for that 2004 season and i have them on the denver broncos now brady was accompanied by corey dillon this time 
in the backfield, Kevin Falk, Troy Brown at wide receiver, Deion Branch, uh, you know, David Patton again, Christian Foria and Graham at tight end. O-line looking really good. One of the better O-lines we've seen so far. Matt Light at left tackle, 91 overall. So overall starting to get better and better. Defense is unbelievable. This might be the best defense in the Brady era. It's definitely one of the best of his Super Bowl winning teams. Ty Law up to a 98, uh, 99 with the morale boost. Asante 84 overall. You have Richard Seymour, X Factor, Keith Trailer, Ty Warren, Big Vince Wilfork uh, just starting to come into his own. Rodney Harrison. I mean, <laughs> look at the linebacker core. Unbelievable. Bruce McGinnis. I mean, Vrabel's not even starting. It was just unbelievable how much talent they had on this team. Kicker, Vinatieri again, and Miller at punter. One of the favorites to win this entire thing. Fast forward 10 years, and now we have Tom Brady in the 2014 season, when he was a 93 overall. This was his fourth Super Bowl win, and this is the Madden 15 New England Patriots. You have Shane Vereen, LeGarrette Blunt, Stephen Ridley, James White. So much depth at running back. This is the Edelman and Amendola era with Brandon LaFell, Robert Gronkowski, the first Super Bowl that Brady won with Gronk, Michael Humanawanui, I think I got that one right, Sebastian Vollmer, Nate Solder, this O-line not as OP as the last one, but it's still pretty good, 89 overall, defense looks a lot different of course, Big Vince Wolfork still on the team, he might be the only one from that 04 Pages team that is still here, now it's the Devin McCourty era though, in the secondary, you have Patrick Chung, Deron Harmon, Gerard Mayo, Hightower, the first of his, I think, three in New England, Jamie Collins, Chandler Jones, okay, you have Ninkovich, Browner, Darrell Revis Island, all right, so yeah, a lot of good cornerbacks on these Brady Super Bowl winning teams. Like, he didn't do it alone. He had a lot of help, but of course, he's still the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? And no one can do it alone. It's a team sport. Anyways, that's a nasty cornerback trio. Um, disgusting defense. Another good Brady team. Vinatieri on his team as well. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. This was the Goskowski era. So Vinatieri long gone by this point. A couple years after that, we have the 2016 New England Patriots, led by, of course, Tom Brady. He was a 94 overall in this one. Backed up by Jimmy G and Jagopi Brissett. LeGarrette Blunt. Once again, a running back, Deion Lewis, James White, James Devlin, been the fullback for a lot of these teams. Julian Edelman again, Amendola, Chris Hogan this time, Matthew Slater, Gronk up to a 99 overall. This is when Gronk was at his peak. You had Martellus Bennett, very nice tight end too. Clay Harbor, Vollmer again at right tackle. Shaq Mason, Nate Solder, Joe Thune. Used his actual face skin and on another team in this video. So that's why we had to use a random guy there. Anyways, Jabal Sheard on defense. Chris Long, Alan Branch on the D-line along with Ninkovich. Jamie Collins, Dante Hightower. This is when these guys were smack dab in their prime. Patrick Chung, I'm sorry, that is the best face can we can find. Uh, hey, it is what it is. I don't know why they make them look so old what it is what it is De Devin McCourty at free safety Malcolm Butler Goskowski at kicker once again 85 overall so not as OP you know as some of the other teams we've seen but still pretty good and then the final Super Bowl winning team of the Brady Belichick era in New England was the 2018 Patriots and this is the Madden 19 Patriots where Brady was a 99 okay so he was at the peak of his powers you have James White Rex Burkhead Sony Michelle Devlin again Edelman Hogan, Josh Gordon, remember him, he got himself a Super Bowl win, Cordero Patterson, also, he was listed at wide receiver during this Madden, O-line looking very solid, Mason, Trent Brown, Thune, David Andrews, Gronk, still a 99, Dwayne Allen backing him up, Hollister at tight end three, 88 overall, I think is the second highest overall you've seen so far, Devin McCourty and Jason McCourty, the McCourty brothers got a ring together, you love to see it, you have Chung, Harmon again, Van Noy, Hightower, D-line, solid, I mean, it's just a solid team, Stephon Gilmore at CB number two, so remember what I was telling you, I know he was a 99, Madden 21, but in Madden 19, during this season, he was an 87, so that's how he did it for every single player on all of these teams just to keep consistent eric rowe got himself a ring Gostowski once again at kicker and finally the seventh and last ring of the brady era was when he won it in tampa bay he was a 90 overall on the buccaneers in madden 21 for the 2020 season backed up by blaine gabbert leonard Fournette, playoff lenny ronald jones lashaw mccoy Keyshawn vaughn you have evans godwin antonio always balling brown ab 
Scotty Miller, Gronk, OJ Howard. Worfs was only a 71, so that's what we have. And you still have Ali Marpet, who has abilities, Ryan Jensen, 84 overall, about middle of the pack when you compare him to the other teams in this tournament. Antoine Winfield started at 75. Carlton Davis, Sean Murphy, Bunning, like it, it, these guys were only in the high 70s at the start, but their overalls got better as the season progressed. Their defensive front seven was phenomenal. JPP, Shaq Barrett, Levante, Devin White, Vita Vea, and Damakong Su. So there you have it, 84 overall. We are ready to get the tournament started. We've seen all the teams. Now I went ahead and spun a wheel to see which one of these teams would get a first round buy because you know, eight teams would have been perfect, but unfortunately we had an, an odd number. So we had to spin it and it ended up being the 03 Patriots. So they're gonna sit out, they're moving on automatically to the semifinals. And now now we're going to look at the rest of the matchups in the quarterfinals. First up, we have the 2020 Buccaneers taking on the 2001 Patriots. On offense, we have the 01 Patriots led by Brady, 50-something overall. Going to start off with a laser though. Look at him, man. 50-something overall, completing his first pass. Best case scenario, they get up early and just let the defense do the rest. Brady making some good reads. Another first down. He's perfect on the game so far. Troy Brown with his first reception big part of this New England offense during this Super Bowl run. Multiple audibles during this drive. I don't know, trying to confuse the defense. There's the first incompletion. Buccaneers might be some of you guys' pick to win this entire thing. That defense was disgusting. Levante, nasty front four. But uh, look at this New England team. The 01 Patriots moving the ball down inside the 10. Troy Brown with another one. Four-man rush. Brady gonna go down at Shaq Barrett. Big reason why this pass rush was so deadly for the Buccaneers. Third and goal. This time they send a blitz. Brady's still gonna throw a laser touchdown. The 0-1 Patriots take the first lead of the game. But now it's the 2020 Buccaneers turn to see if they can answer back with a touchdown of their own now. This might be the best offense of the Brady era in my humble opinion. I mean, Scotty Miller was like, what, the fifth option maybe? <laughs> And he just caught the first pass. I mean, A.B., Mike Evans, Godwin, Gronk still had abilities. And then, of course, you had the running backs. Leonard Fournette. You had Shady, who was past his prime. But, you know, he, he was a good luck charm. You feel me? So, it, a lot of talent on his offense. O-line, by the end of the season, was really, really good. With Wirfs coming into his own. You had Jensen. You had Marpet. So, a lot of talent. Brady on second down. Third completion of the drive. Yeah, this Bucks team was stacked. Okay, they were stacked. They wanted to go all in, and that's exactly what they ended up doing. Ronald Jones getting tackled for a loss. That's Teddy Bruschi, man. This Patriots defense, first drive, could end with no points if the Bucks cannot get a little closer. They have Ryan suck up at kicker, and I think it's a little bit outside of his range. Brady almost throws a pick. Great deflection by Ty Law. And the 0-1 Patriots going to force a punt on their first defense possession. They have the early lead in this one. This would be a massive upset. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like the 0-1 Pats obviously were good enough to win a Super Bowl, but to have a multiple possession lead over the 2020 Buccaneers is crazy. Heading into halftime, the Bucks still have zero points scored. What is going on? That amazing offense that I, I just highlighted still has zero points. Heading into the fourth quarter, they finally get a touchdown. They're down one possession. No one pass, just have to waste clock and they cannot do it. They punt the ball. Here come the Buccaneers trying to tie it up. They go three and out. The 0-1 Pats go three and out as well. So this is the last chance for the Bucks. Gotta assume this is four down territory. Brady gonna find his favorite target, Gronk, who gets tackled by Brewski. It's fourth and two. Biggest play of the game. They're not going to use a timeout. Does the 2020 Tampa Bay Buccaneers time in this tournament end right here? Yes. Brady goes down. Willie McGinnis with the sack. The 50-something overall. Tom Brady somehow beat the 90 overall Brady. And they're moving on to the next round of the tournament. Wow. I, I, it was a defensive battle. That's how these older Brady teams won. He threw two touchdowns, so credit to him. Troy Brown was a monster in this one. MVP, player of the game, has to go to him. Gronk, they kept him in check. 527, I believe. And yeah, that defense once again. Lights out. Variable had half a sack. Interception went to Murphy Bunning, but it was not enough. The Buccaneers are gone. Our next matchup, we have the 2018 Patriots. They're going to be in the Bears uniforms. And then we have the 2004 Patriots. They're in the Broncos 
Broncos uniforms. So kind of old school, new school Patriots going at it. This should be another good one. First up on offense, we have the 2018 Patriots. Here's Brady. I think he might have been 40. At this age. He might have been close to his 40s. And he starts off with an interception on his first pass attempt. Ty Law, unbelievable play right there. Jumping that route and getting the INT on the very first play. So the 04 Patriots take over with great field position. Brady's first pass, that's a dot to his wide receiver, Troy Brown. Been his go-to target so far in this video. Three-step drop, actually longer than that. Brady gonna throw a touchdown! Two plays, and the 04 Patriots take the lead just like that. Ben Watson does the honors. Vinatieri with the extra point, and uh, now the 18 Patriots are gonna have to battle back. They don't get any points on their next drive, but luckily, neither do the 04 Patriots. Now it's a defensive battle. Both teams struggling to score. Okay, I spoke too soon. 04 Patriots up 10. Do the 2018 Patriots have anything in store for us? And into halftime, they finally get on the board, kick a field goal, but they're down 10 at the start of third quarter the lead is growing they need to get a stop badly but this defense is very stingy not allowing any touchdowns for the 18 patriots the 04 pats put up another touchdown there are multiple possessions and it looks like they're gonna escape with the w in this one brady could not overcome that rough start three interceptions no touchdowns now once again this was the third brady super bowl year so yeah he was a little bit approaching his prime or at least you know close to it so i expect a little bit better especially given what we saw from the 01 Patriots Brady uh, he had himself a good game so a little shocked to see these stats however he was going up against Teddy Bruschi Eugene Wilson Ty freaking law a disgusting defense and yeah they're going to be very tough to beat they're moving on the 2018 Patriots time in this tournament is done and then our final matchup of the quarterfinals since the 2003 Patriots get that first round by is the 2016 Patriots AK the Dolphins taking on the 2014 Patriots AK the Niners so both these teams are pretty similar one of them has Revis though that, that that's a huge difference 2016 Patriots up first on offense, Brady starts off with a laser to his favorite target, Gronkowski. Multiple guys with abilities on this offense. This one, the defense wasn't as stacked as the older Brady teams, but it was still pretty good. However, they started going heavy offense, all right? So that's why you have multiple guys with abilities at multiple positions. So Garrett Blunt, big part of that running game. Oh, he gets tackled for a loss, though. Big Vince Wilford, one of the best defensive tackles. Third down and six. No, that's not Fred Warner at 54. I believe that's not the high tower. Brady throwing it away, and they're gonna have to punt. Great defense by the 2014 Patriots. So the Pats from Madden 15 for the 2014 season start off with a negative gain. That is high tower making plays on both sides of the football. Amendola went backwards, lost two yards. Gonna continue watching, see how each of these teams do on their first drive, because for one of these teams, this is the only game they're gonna be playing in this tournament four-man rush brady escaping a pocket throwing an interception not the best decision malcolm butler the cb1 for the 2016 patriots getting the int so one team has malcolm butler the other team has darrell revis this could be another low scoring game i mean defenses are, are crazy however 2014 patriots strike first somehow they must have got a great stop and then got the ball and put up some points 2016 Pats falling behind. They don't get at least a field goal in his drive. You could call it a disappointment. There you go. Finally get some points to the board. Right before halftime, they have a chance to get some more points. Can they make it happen? Yes, they take the lead. Heading into half number two, and they had the football. Actually, no, they kicked off. And here come the 2014 Patriots. They do nothing with it unfortunately on their first drive in the second half but on their second drive they score a touchdown they take the lead we were on a seesaw on this one actually never mind 2014 pages take a double digit lead heading into the fourth quarter the 2016 pets have anything in store for them no they move all the way down the field and don't get any points they must have gone for the fourth down and not converted i don't know about that decision man they have to take three when they're in the field goal range what are you doing man you're down multiple possessions and now you're gonna go home 
because of bad decision making. And there you have it. The 2014 Patriots are moving on. 2016 Patriots going home. This Brady threw two interceptions. They both threw an interception. One of them threw a little bit more. Unfortunately, Gronkowski six for 78. The other one, three for 27 and a touchdown. Martellus Bennett, I mean, that was a good tight end group. However, the wide receiver core of the 2014 New England Patriots was just a little bit better. And then the defense, Jamie Collins, Gerard Mayo. He had an interception and a sack. Player of the game might go to him. But look at Revis Island, man. He was a huge reason why that team was so good. He had himself an interception in this one. Moving on to the next round. First matchup of the semis, we have the 0-1 Patriots as the actual Patriots. And then we have the 0-3 Patriots as the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm gonna send to the next possession. We've already seen the 0-1 Patriots in action. And their first drive is a three and out. Now we get to see the 03 Patriots for the first time in this video. Brady has one guy on his offense besides him that has abilities. They're going to start off with a jet sweep. And these teams have not learned yet. David Patton going backwards. Willie McGinnis with a nice tack for a loss. Too many great linebackers to do plays like that. Brady in a shotgun. Going to find his receiver. That picks up a nice gain. Torrey Brown once again on the reception. Let's see if they can move the chain on their first drive of this game in this tournament it's a drop he had it in his hands so the first drive for the 03 patriots ends up being a punt let's see who's able to strike first in this one the 01 patriots move down the field get a field goal so they put up the first points of the game but here come the 03 patriots they answer back with a touchdown and then they get another one so just like that they're up multiple possessions after that rough start they have taken this game by storm 21 points in the first half only six put up by the 01 Patriots this is not the situation you wanted that team to be in down big Brady was not quite Brady just yet and yeah this looks like an impossible comeback to make happen the 03 Patriots gonna hold on to their lead it looks like they put up 30 big ones on the 01 Patriots and they're moving on to the finals both Brady's threw two interceptions but the 03 Patriots Brady was able to put up two touchdowns as well Antoine Smith or Antoine I'm sorry I I, I agree greatly apologize if I'm getting these names wrong uh the pronunciation I know the spelling's right but yeah I, I was too young I, I was like seven eight years old when the 01 Patriots were in there doing their thing so he's always Troy Brown touchdown Teddy Bruschi not enough from them oh my goodness three sacks for Colvin and Seymour Ty Law had half a sack and two interceptions this dude is unbelievable he has his team headed to the finals of the Brady tournament and he's a big reason why the last remaining team from the new school Brady Super Bowl winning teams you know all the teams after the 10-year drought is the 2014 Patriots aka the Niners they're taking on the 2004 Patriots who are going to be in the Broncos uniforms one of these teams is moving on to the finals this is crazy it's really like the last of the old school brady patriots teams versus the first of the new school brady patriots teams and uh first play almost intercepted reckless decision and they're gonna pass it again on third down and 10 2014 patriots might have a quick three and now brady throws it out of bounds three incompletions to start so here come the 2004 patriots team this was still when you know the pats were kind of defense heavy but they had really good running backs Corey dillon leading away four yards on his first rush of the game brady under center he tight end set of troy brown let's see if that's where he decides to go no gronk he goes to one of his wide receivers picks up the first down as Deion Branch with the reception. He always had solid tight ends too, I would say. You know, Graham with the reception right there for you. I don't hear his name mentioned enough. You know, he looked like he was the starter on most of these early Patriots teams that won Super Bowl. So I don't know why he doesn't get as much recognition. Maybe that's because Gronk came after him and you know he was a huge part of those other Brady teams so he was kind of forgotten anywho third down and five that's a nice catch but I think that was for you and it's gonna be fourth and inches yeah that was Christian with the reception they're not gonna go for it now low scoring game benefits the 2004 Patriots a little bit more I would say 2014 Patriots were able to put up points in bunches but right now they're losing three to 14 heading into half number two right now it's turned into a blowout they're only getting field goals down 21 to six make it 28 to six at one 
point. Wow. Final score 28 to 12. I expected it to be a little bit closer than that. Brady from the 2014 had a couple mishaps, but also threw two touchdowns. The 2014 Brady just did not air it out like I expected him to. Only 156 passing yards, one touchdown. Shane Vereen, three yards of carry. Corey Dillon, 75 yards and a touchdown. Patrick Pass also had a touchdown. That was back when he used to use fullbacks like crazy for you. Eight for 84. I tried to tell you, man, he is very underrated. Deion Branch, eight for 97. David Gibbons, four for 25 and a touchdown. And then Troy Brown also had a touchdown. Edelman, the only one that scored for the uh, 2014 Patriots at the wide receiver position. Yeah, kind of a tough way to go out. I expected them to put up more of a fight. Wolf work with a sack. McGinnis had two sacks. Seymour, Ty Warren. So you have the 03 Patriots taking on the 04 Patriots in the battle of the best Brady team of all time, according to Madden. But before we get into the final game, let's read a super chat from OTC. He says every player is randomly switched from their normal position and then simmed. Every player would would, would be a lot, but uh, I, I like I like where you're going. I, I, I appreciate the donation. Nation. Let's get the final started. We have once again the 03 Patriots in the Chiefs uniforms, the 04 Patriots in the Broncos uniform, the 04 Pats up first, Brady with a nice pass. Now these teams are one year apart, so gonna be a lot of familiar faces on both sides of the football. Almost identical rosters. Uh, there's a couple big names that were not on both of these teams, like only on one team, not on the other one, but Foria, I believe, is on both of them. Obviously Brady, you know, Harrison, Ty Law. Uh, let's see if one of those guys makes a play on this third down and two. Brady going down the field, ends up being deflected. Quick three and now time for the 03 Pats to see if they can get the first points of the game. Oh, here comes the blitz. Brady recognizes it, gets rid of it, picks up four yards. Two tight ends set this time. I think that's Troy Brown in the slot with abilities. Let's see if they decide to run the football. Yes, they're gonna run the ball. Okay, nice blocking, big gain. First, first down of this game. They're going right back to him. Back to back good runs by Antoine Smith. This time four yards, second down and six. Brady under center going right back to smith he's getting some good yards great blocks down the field smith into the 04 pats territory 03 patriots with a beautiful drive going already in scoring range will they continue to run the football i mean right now it's working okay now they're gonna pass nice reception this team was methodical they, they would just dot you up down the field over and over again nice laser by brady they're inside the five good catch by troy brown will smith do the honors and punch this bad boy into the end zone great blocking from the o-line touchdown 03 patriots what a drive so they have the early lead will they be able to hold on to it not for long okay they end up getting tied up by the 04 patriots but they take the lead back and now they're up three possessions in the third quarter let's slow it down a little bit and see if the 04 patriots can make a nice late game comeback it's brady versus brady if there's one quarterback you want to try to come back it is him ginormous play third down and five Will Brady go back to Branch? Empty backfield. Let's see if he has enough time to throw. Yes, zone coverage. Brady throws an incompletion at the bottom of the screen. It's going to bring up a fourth down to five. So the 04 Patriots are going to have one more chance at least. Rodney Harrison in the box right now. He's going to pick up for you. It's man coverage. Brady going to take off. Six for 39. Like he wasn't the fastest, but in his early days, he had a decent amount of speed. Not a lot, but a decent amount. Okay, second and three. Last play for the two minute warning. Brady going to throw it to Troy Brown again. They're across midfield. Will the 03 Pats send a blitz? Let's see what they decide to do. Man in motion for the 04 Patriots. Yep, here comes the blitz. Brady escaping to the right side. Going to have to throw it away. So it all comes down to this huge play right here. 04 Patriots need to get this first down. Otherwise, it could be the end of their time in the tournament. Foria finds a way to get open. They're inside the 15. Stop sleeping on them, man. They still have all three timeouts. Less than 50 seconds left. Let's see what he's able to do. Brady facing a three-man rush. Find someone wide open. We have a tie game. David Givens given the 04 Patriots another touchdown. But there's still plenty of time left for the 03 Patriots. And their quarterback is Tom Brady as well. So it could get ugly. So now let's see if they can make it happen. Here comes the blitz. 
Oh, that's a drop. Or actually just a great play by Ty Law on third down. So just like that, the 0-4 Patriots are going to get the ball back with three timeouts. Brady going to line it up, throw this thing deep. Oh, it reaches the end zone and it's it almost intercepted. We're headed to OT. All right. So first up in overtime is the 0-4 Patriots. They have ball now. Both teams are going to possess the football. Let's see if uh, the 0-4 Patriots can put up points on their first drive. Oh, no, never mind. If you score a touchdown, you win. The 0-4 Patriots win a thriller. 34-28. I mean, look at these stats. Five touchdowns, one interception, three touchdowns, no interceptions. I mean, hey, these were the two best teams of the Brady era, according to Madden. One of them had to come out on top. It was the one with Christian Foria going crazy. Four touchdowns by David Givens, though. Player the game has to go to him. That's how the Brady tournament ends. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Can we get to a thousand likes? Please, man. This took days. It took a long time to put together. That's all I ask. Okay, just like the video, especially if you uh, got to the end. I don't ask for any money, no donations. Just like the video. That's it, man. I'll see you on the next one. Leave any other ideas you have for me in the comments. And yeah, have a good rest of your day.